quick read in short Tasmanian Attorney General Elise Archer resigned abruptly after WhatsApp. Messages were leaked in which she allegedly insulted her parliamentary colleagues, including Prime Minister Jeremy Rockliffe and a staff member. Tasmanian Attorney General Elise Archer has abruptly resigned following the leak of WhatsApp messages in which she allegedly insulted her parliamentary colleagues, including Prime Minister Jeremy Rockliffe and a staff member. What's next? The Liberal Party is expected to win a recount for Ms. Archer's seat of Clark. Mr. Rockliffe is considering delaying the return of Parliament to allow this to happen. Tasmanian Attorney General Elise Archer has resigned from Cabinet at the request of Prime Minister Jeremy Rockliffe and said she will also resign from Parliament. Mr. Rockliffe said that after was made aware of unacceptable remarks during a meeting this morning. He asked for Ms. Archer's resignation from the Cabinet and secured it. Leaked text messages The Australian newspaper included Ms. Archer referring to Mr. Rockliffe as brave, saying former Prime Minister Peter Gutwain had a glass mouth and describing a colleague's female staff as empty-headed. Mr. Rockliffe said it was not because of the comments about him that he requested Ms. Archer's resignation but that he had been made aware of other messages purportedly from Ms. Archer. I was made aware of information yesterday regarding statements Ms. Archer made that were not previously reported, he said. Michael Ferguson will take on the role of Attorney General, while Jeremy Rockliffe will take on Archer's other ministerial duties until a cabinet reshuffle in the coming days. Mr. Rockliffe said Ms. Archer's statements made in the leaked WhatsApp messages would not be accepted. These remarks are unacceptable by any standard and fall absolutely short of expectations from a Minister of the Crown, Mr. Rockliffe said. As a result, Ms. Archer is no longer a member of my cabinet. As I said this week, if the culture is going to change in this state, it takes leadership and accountability. It starts at the top. I cannot accept a culture of belittling a culture where people are not valued and respected for what they do who they truly are. The messages were leaked to newspapers following reports that at least two members of Ms. Archer's current or former staff had made allegations of bullying and inappropriate behavior to anti-discrimination commissioner Sarah Bolt. Elise Archer said the Liberal Party leadership continues to fail to support ambitious women. Ms. Archer said on Thursday she took the allegations extremely seriously and welcomed their investigation. Liberal leadership failing to support ambitious women Ms. Archer's resignation will lead to a recount for Clark which the Liberal Party is expected to win, maintaining its current numbers in the lower house. Deputy Prime Minister Michael Ferguson will become acting Attorney General, while Mr. Rockliffe will take on Mose.